Hey there, guys. I got a follow-up I uh, want to make about my 6S versus 4S video. Um, there is a, a criticism that is going on in the comments that is 100% valid. And also, I want to kind of make a response to it, kind of flesh out the understanding of how the video came about and why it was the way it was. And the criticism is that the watt hours of the batteries are not the same. The 6S battery has more watt hours, and that explains why Evan got more laps on the 6S battery. Um, in case you don't know, watt hours is a way of comparing the capacity of the batteries when the batteries are not the same voltage. When they're the same voltage, then the one with more milliamp hours has more capacity. But when they're different voltages, the watt hours is the unit that you use to kind of make an apples to apples comparison. And the 1250 milliamp hour 6S has, if you do the math, has more watt hours uh, than the 1550 milliamp hour 4S. And some people are saying, well, there you go, the results. That explains the results. There is truth to that. It absolutely is. <clears throat> so the reason that we ended up the way we are is uh, my goal was to have the weight of the quads be as similar as possible and the weight of the batteries be as similar as possible. The 1256S is about 10 grams heavier than the 1554S. There is a 1056S. The 1056S is much closer in watt hours to the 1554S, but it's like 20 grams lighter. So the 1250 is closer in weight and it's the one that Evan actually uses when he races. So that's the one that we decided to use. Um, like an 1800 4S that weighed exactly 210 grams would be the best, but I don't know if that battery exists and we didn't have it. And my point is that at some point you got to just make the data. Like for one of the things I most wanted to get out of this testing was to have Evan fly the testing. He is a big proponent of 6S. He believes in it strongly. And 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 he's also like a world-class pilot. I could take some quads and fly him around a course and I would be lucky to finish a lap consistently. Never mind have any two laps be so consistent that it wasn't me, the pilot, making the difference. Since Evan is such a consistent pilot and such a good pilot, I felt like having him participate in the testing, even if it meant that the equipment we use is maybe not like lab grade com comparable, I felt like that had a lot of value. And the problem was that I actually, he actually came out and we ran this whole test and I recorded the whole thing. And due to a technical mistake that I didn't, I didn't, I threw out the results and I said, Hey, can you come back out? And that's why you're only seeing this video now instead of like a month ago when I actually finished it, he came back out, we did the test again and we, we wouldn't have been able to get together again for like another two months. He's in, he's in high school for gosh sakes. He can't just come out in the middle of the day like I can. And he's got a race schedule. He's actually going to races on weekends. So I was like, look, here's the results. You guys can look at these results and go, I think an 1800 milliamp hour four cell with the same watt hours and the same weight would perform just as good. Awesome. I never claimed that this was the be all end all of the discussion. There's no such thing as a scientific question that is you could there's always room for more results okay but i i wanted to show you guys what he's running what kind of results he gets and give more insight into the thought process of people who are saying that success is better than 4s and i hope that i was able to accomplish that um i want to do more experiments obviously this is not it I, I'm going to be in Houston in about two weeks for quad camp. Hello, Houston. And uh, it occurs to me that Catalyst Machine Works, one of the biggest proponents of low KV uh, high volt is in Houston. So maybe when I'm out there, we can try and get some even more closely matched stuff together and fly it. But for now, you know, take what you will. Uh, and uh, I welcome the criticisms and I welcome more tests. You know, as long as we're criticizing these test results, I have a few criticisms you guys have overlooked. For example... If you really want to do this test right, you would need to test the packs to make sure that the milliamp hours and the watt hours that are printed on the label are accurate. I do a lot of battery testing, as you know, and I find that many batteries have between, say, 90 and 105 percent of their rated capacity. And that's actually for any if you buy 10 packs all labeled as 15, 50 milliamp hours, there's going to be maybe 5 percent variance even with them. And that alone potentially could make up some of the difference. But nobody's nobody. Hey, y'all, y'all did not could take two packs of the same milliamp hours and the same nominal watt hours 
and oh wait no it's not actually the same so make sure that you know you guys are doing that in your testing that you're doing which you're not doing you just uh you're just picking at me okay fine hey <clears throat> Well, anyway, uh, yeah, so test the backs and make sure the milliamp hours are the same and not don't just trust what's on the label. Nobody's doing that. The packs have to be, you know, the same number of cycles. They're brand new. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't ask me about that. These packs, uh, yeah, were they the same? You don't know. Um, there's all kinds of things that could make up the difference. But if we let, if we let, uh, if we just take any scientific experiment that is not absolutely perfect and we reject it, then, uh, I, you know, I'm not asking you to take the conclusion as solved. I'm just saying, uh, let's take the results and build on them. Yeah. Okay. There we go. There's my follow-up. Just went a little bit off the rails. All right. Bye. <laughs>